Gemini, hi. So, um, so it's going to be a reading for the month of June 2021. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so it may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini... Dude, I have no space. Not that you give a fuck, but I have no space. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Four of Cups, a sense of discontent, a little bit of unhappiness there. Uh, starting off the reading, you get the Magician crossed by the Two of Pentacles. It feels like you're in a slumber here. It feels like you're in a place where you may not know exactly what you want. So there's that energy of, I want this, but at the same time, I want this too. And I'm aware I can't have both, but I want a little bit of this, a little bit. I don't know what I want, you know, kind of thing. Um, if that's you, could be somebody you're dealing with. In your focus here, the hangman, uh, you're not really taking any kind of action anywhere, which is good if you're in this energy of where, where do I go? What do I do? Um, in the recent past, you're coming from a pretty good place here, very stable, very knowing of what you want, who you are, all of that, a lot of stability in that Nine of Pentacles. In your strength, the Seven of Pentacles, you can get yourself out of this. Um, you have the capability to move through this energy, to work through this energy and move out of this. Um, in the immediate future, you get the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. That's a stable, good energy. Oh. Uh, the supportive energies, the King of Wands. This could be somebody you're dealing with. And because of this energy right here, this situation might take place for you of what do I do? We've already established this. This is in your hidden energy. So the energy that surrounds you and you may not be fully aware of it. A lot of confusion is at stake here. Uh, you're hoping for some sort of movement possibly towards you and the potential outcome, the Nine of Swords. A little bit of pain popping up in here. So let's clarify. Let me do the Four of Cups. Somebody's walking away here, possibly. I feel like that's why this is happening. Uh, seven of Swords, Ten of Wands, Six of Swords. Uh, you could be the one that's actually feeling pulled out of the out of a situation, and it's not coming in with great energy. You know, a lot of the times when we leave something behind, if it's been a part of our life for quite some time, there's still going to be that disappointment, even if it's the worst thing for us. There's still going to be a little bit of pain a little bit of not feeling that great about it um so i kind of get that this is you maybe in this place of having to leave or having to walk away or it could be the other person walking away let's do the magician the result of it regardless who it is what it how it presents itself the the result of it is um Discontent. Let's do the Magician. The Death card, the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, a lot of back and forth. A lot of I change my mind. I don't want this. And then, well, maybe I do. What do I do about this? Do I want this? Do I not want this? So a lot of confusion about what it is that you want in regards to a specific situation. Let's do the Two of Pentacles. Because I see you manifesting something and then just dropping it. Not wanting it anymore. Um... Two of Pentacles. Five of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like it, it may even start affecting other areas of your life, this situation. Uh, other areas being your work, or it seems like you're lacking energy. You're lacking, like you're giving too much energy to this situation, and that's taken away from other aspects of your life, where your energy is 
you know, distributed in certain ways. And then um, because this is so consuming for you, it may um, affect other areas, especially work possibly. Um, it does come with a sense of self-sabotage because you can definitely stop that. Um, you know, feed this energy of, I don't know. Let's do the hangman. Nine of Wands, Two of Swords, Ace of Cups. Okay. Yeah, very confused about whether or not you want to start something off or restart something with somebody. Um, really in that place of not knowing. Uh, or thinking you don't know. Thinking being the key word because you're in your head about it. I feel like you're not going through... Uh, it's a difficult time. Let's just put it that way, by the looks of it. Let's do the Seven of Pentacles up there in your strength. The Eight of Wands, the Strength card, the Ace of Swords. Okay. You're working up the courage to talk about it, to communicate. Um, it's interesting because the communication part is very clear. Um, it could be the energy surrounding it, where you're very clear that you want to talk. You may not know what you want to talk about, but it feels like you're building up the courage to initiate a conversation possibly here. Um, let's do the Six of Pentacles. World card, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away. It could be a difficult decision. If you're the one that is walking away, it could be something very, very difficult. Something has closed off. A cycle is closed off. And maybe physically somebody stayed in it for quite some time. And now it's time to physically go away too. You know? Um, let's do the King of Wands. Oh, the Emperor, the Justice card, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so if you're the one that's getting ready to walk away or wants to walk away, I feel like the, the other person is uh, in a very different energy of they still want for things to continue. Uh, they still want for things to work out. So that could be why it's such a difficult decision. Um... Let's do the Two of Swords in the Hidden Energies. King of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups. You're feeling very stuck in this situation. Um, and it's hard because the other person's energy is kind of grabbing on you. So it's hard to move through this energy. Uh, their intentions, their wants, their needs, like I know I want this to work, is kind of pulling on your energy. And that's why things are looking pretty difficult here. Of course, roles can be reversed. Um, let's do the Knight of Wands. For the hopes and fears. Six of Wands, Three of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Somebody's making a move here. Or getting ready to make a move. And they know that it's going to hurt them and the other person. Um, but somebody's definitely getting ready to, to make a move. Things are building up in such a way where this person is really going for it. Whoever this is. I kind of get it too. Um, could be reversed. I don't know. Let's do the Nine of Swords. In the potential outcome. Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, the Judgment card. The self-care energy comes into play where you feel like you've had enough of your own thoughts about it, of your own confusion, of your own going nuts about this whole situation. <clears throat> you're hitting the pause button. Basically, you're like, okay, enough is enough. I need time for myself. I need time to clear my head. I need time for me. 
you know, because um, this is all coming in as very stressful. But I do see you taking a step back and taking care of yourself, basically, because that's definitely needed. Let's see what the universe has. Three of Swords, Six of Wands, Ace of Wands. Yeah. Now, it doesn't even have to be a breakup, but somebody's getting ready to take some action in a certain direction. And the other person really, really doesn't like that. Does not approve that, doesn't like that because it doesn't benefit them or something like that comes into play. So somebody, um, if it's you, you want to go in a certain direction that makes you feel good. The other person is um, really not wanting that. Let's see what the Oracle card has from the Untethered Soul Oracle deck. <laughs> Freeing yourself. Uh, when a blockage gets hit, it's a good thing. It's time to open up internally and release the blocked energy. Nothing to do with the head, where you're at right now. But I do see you going in that direction of this internally, basically. Um, so yeah, remember that. Remember to go there. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.